friends welcome to abhivyakti india's future classroom in today's episode of mixed bag we have taken the problems from partnership work and time and profit and loss here is the first question on the screen the sum of two positive numbers is 630 if 75% of first number is equal to the 60% of the second number what is the large number among the two let the two numbers be x and y and therefore by the first condition x plus y that is equal to 630 because it is given that the sum of the two positive numbers is 630 let this be equation number 1 now the second condition is that the 75% of the first number so 75% by 100 of first number is equal to 60% of the second number so solving this you will get 100 100 cancelled and it will be 75x is equal to 65y so it will be 15 5s 75 and 15 4s 60 and so it is 5x is equal to 4y and therefore x is equal to 4y upon x putting this value of x in equation number 1 we get 4y this should be 5 so 4y upon 5 plus y which is equal to 630 so multiplying by 5 throughout the equation we get 4y plus 5y is equal to 630 multiplied by 5 so 5y plus 4y that will be 9y taking 9 to other side you will get y is equal to 630 multiplied by 5 divided by 9 and therefore we get y is equal to 350 putting this value of y in equation number 1 so we get the value of x as 630 minus 350 that is equal to 280 so the required number is 350 instead of doing this you can do it in a different way it is given that 75% is equal to 60% so 100 will get cancel 15 5s are 75 15 4s are 60 and therefore the ratio is 5 is to 4 so divide the total amount in the nine parts so the total number is 630 divide it into nine parts out of that five parts is a larger one therefore multiplied by 5 and so that is equal to 350 and so the required number is 350 next question is A started business by investing rupees four thousand two hundred. After two months, B joined by investing rupees three thousand. And at the at the end of four months from the start of the business, C joined with rupees six thousand. At the end of ten months from the start of the business. A added an additional amount of rupees one thousand eight hundred. If H share in the annual profit is rupees one thousand six hundred twenty, 
what was the total amount of profit now here a has invested twice so a's total investment is equal to initially he invest rupees 4200 it means for a year so his total investment will be 4200 multiplied by 12 plus again he invests rupees 1800 for two months so its investment will be 1800 multiplied by 2 so the total investment will be equal to rupees 54000 so its investment is rupees 54000 now the b's investment is equal to after 2 months b join and invest rupees 3000 it means for 10 months he invest rupees 3000 so its total investment will be 3000 multiplied by 10 and that is equal to 30000 Now af after 4 months from the start of the business C joined with the investment of rupees 6000. So C joined after 4 months it means for 8 months he invested rupees 6000 so his total investment will be 6000 multiplied by 8. So that will be equal to 48,000 so A invest 54,000 B invest 30,000 and C invest 48,000 therefore the ratio of their investment will be 54,000 is to 30,000 is to 48,000 it means it is 54 is to 30 is to 40 and that is equal to 9 is to 5 is to 8 this is 48 since the investment is in the ratio of 9 is to 5 is to 8 the profit share they will get in the same ratio that is 9, 9 is to 5 is to 8 and let their profit is 9x, 5x and 8x. So the tot so this is A's profit, this is B's profit and this is C's profit. So the total profit that will be equal to 22x. But the age profit is given to us and that age profit is 1620 and so age profit is equal to 9x. So 9x is equal to 1620. So x is equal to 1620 divided by 9 and that is equal to 180 and therefore x is equal to 180 therefore A's investment B's investment as C sorry A's profit B's profit and C's profit can be calculated but here we have to calculate the total profit and total profit is equal to 22x so the total profit is 22 into 180 and that is equal to 3960 therefore the total profit in this case is 3960 the next question is A and B can independently finish a piece of work in 36 days and 45 days respectively 
they started working together and after few days a left after that b could finish the remaining work in 36 days after how many days of working did a leave let the total work be 1 and a leaves after x days so a work for x days and b work for x days plus 36 days so a and b together will finish the work in x days work is x days work plus b x plus 36 days work and that together will be equal to one work so its x days work will be x by 36 plus b x plus 36 days work will be x plus 36 by 45 that is equal to 1 and if you solve this equation you get x is equal to 4 days and therefore a leaves the job after 4 days the next question is the profit earned by selling an article for rupees 590 is double what was incurred when the same article was sold for rupees 475 what would be the selling price of the article if it is sold at 20% profit now here we will have to calculate the cost price of the article then only we will be able to find the selling price of the article if it is sold at a 20% of profit so if x is the profit on 590 rupees selling price sorry let x be the profit on rupees 475 rupees then 2x will be the profit on 590 rupees selling price since this is the selling price and this is the profit so the cost price will be 475 minus x and according to this condition this is the selling price and this is the profit and therefore the cost price will be 590 minus 2x 590 minus 2x since these both are the cost price of the same article both should be equal and now if you solve this equation you will get x is equal to 150 since x is equal to 115 putting it in this so you will get the cost price as 475 minus x that is 475 minus 115 and so that will be equal to 360 rupees so the cost price of the article is 360 rupees and therefore the selling price if it is sold for 20% profit will be equal to 360 multiplied by 120 divided by 100 and that is equal to 432 so the selling price of the article if it is sold at 20% profit 
that is equal to 432 rupees friends i hope you must have enjoyed it if yes then like it share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel thank you very much